Hello everybody and welcome to Henry's Kitchen where today I'm going to be teaching you how to make the authentic Turkish shish kebabs. The word kebab comes from the late 17th century, probably originating, meaning a pointing of someone at your stick. Let's get started. So, I can't emphasize enough how important it is to wear some kind of protective gloves when you're mincing with sharp knives. I have a glove made out of chain mail, which might even be too much, but I just like to play it extra safe. So we're going to start by mincing our onion here. So it's finally starting to cool down a little bit where I live here, but it's still not cold enough to go to the beach. I only go to the beach if it's super cold, that way there's nobody there. It's smart, because when you think about it, what dumbass is going to go to the beach when it's super cold? Dice the red peppers, then the green peppers, and then finally the yellow peppers. So I use a Turkish mincing technique called rotation, where you literally rotate your body in a semicircle formation. Okay. Now let's start laying out our meat product here. I'll be using a plant-based ground round for our dry portion. And for the wet portion, I'll be using a Beyond Beef ground beef substitution. And you just want to combine them. I like to start by taking a scoop of the dry and then laying it over the wet. And then you just want to knead it into a ball. You know, just a little tip for some of you out there that live in the city. If you're ever walking home and you realize you don't have a weapon, you can usually stop by a thrift shop and just pick up a cheap frying pan. That little trick saved my ass a couple of times. Okay, I've got a cast iron skillet here and we're just going to put it on medium heat. Let that get nice and hot. So I've got some tongue depressors soaking in water here to make makeshift skewers and we're going to poke these through a ball of meat and then flatten it to make our kebab. You can start with just two and see if you're hungry after that. So now we're just going to very carefully lay our kebabs on top of our skillet and let them start to cook. Watch out, this is going to be hot. We're going to leave our meat on the grill for about five minutes. That should be enough time to start making our onion salad. You'll probably want to suit up for this one. So I've got our onion and some parsley here. We'll start by dicing the onion. Add in the parsley, drizzle it with olive oil, and then we'll put this on the plate to form a salad bed. Okay, now we're going to flip over our kebabs and let them cook for another five minutes. Okay, so now we're just going to add our meat on top of our bed of onion salad, and voila! A hundred percent vegan, authentic Turkish shish kebabs. Okay, well, hey, I want to 
say a special thank you to Sinem Yulakaya and Haki Ken Ndioglu for requesting a Turkish dish this month. And thanks to all the patrons at Patreon.com. And if you want to get an apron or cookbook or see a live show, please check out HenryPhillips.com. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you next month. She's